Hello, this is Matt on the Moon Lambo channel. Isn't it funny that a dude on the internet named Moon Lambo is the one who is fighting against nonsense XRP price hype? Isn't that hilarious? I mean, given my name, wouldn't you expect me to be the one claiming XRP will be worth, you know, $352 or, you know, $10,000, why the hell not? Or $100,000, shouldn't that be the guy that has the stupid name Moon Lambo? Well, apparently not. <laughs> Because I've been fighting back against this nonsense the whole time I've been in the XRP community over six years. I've not been running this YouTube channel over five years and pushing back against all this stupid nonsense. But <laughs> there's there's something in particular. And I, look, I don't know why this is making the rounds again. It's all over social media again. It's all over, uh, you know, it's all over YouTube. It's all over uh, crypto media. It's the XRP price calculator. You guys familiar with this thing? because it's a heaping pile of garbage. But it's it's the reason that we're seeing the headline on your screen here from News BTC. Crypto analyst predicts XRP price will explode 58,000% to $352. Now, to be clear, in case you're new to the channel, I'm not saying it's impossible for XRP to be worth three digits at some unknown point in the future if it's wildly successful, wildly adopted, there's way more than enough money on the planet to make such a figure possible. But we're talking about in short order, like next year or two or three or whatever. Whether you're talking 352 bucks or $112 billion, which, which you know, I mean, if you're making that, so I, I think if you get to make up nonsense predictions like that, I get to have made up numbers like $112 billion. I, I, if you're saying stuff like that, you're off your damn rocker, son. <sighs> Then there's also this headline from Crypto Alert. Got a warning about this one. XRP is set to handle transactions surpassing $1.2 quadrillion, making a price of $10,000 necessary. But before going further, I do want to be clear. I do not have a financial background of any kind. I am not offering financial advice. And you definitely should not buy or sell anything because of anything I say or write. I'm just an enthusiast who enjoys making YouTube videos about crypto-related topics, but just as a hobby and just for fun. Now, to be clear... I do firmly believe that XRP is going to be worth a fortune compared to where it is right now. I don't make price predictions, and I admit I could be wrong. I'm just a dude. There's nothing special about me. But I believe what I believe. I have strong conviction. I've, I've been seeing this thing through for over six years. I firmly believe this is, is right. I believe we got a, a raw deal with the SEC nonsense, and I think this already would have happened for us. We already would have seen that life-changing wealth last market cycle, but not for that. But I still believe we're going to get ours. That's, that's what I firmly believe. So don't think for a moment I'm not Mr. Bull XRP. Like, I am. I'm just not a raving lunatic, despite the name Moon Lambo. And so the, the, the Crypto Basic covered this, too. Um, here's a headline, uh, because, again, it's, it's all about the XRP price calculator. Uh, here's the headline from the Crypto Basic. And at least the dollar figure is reasonable in this one. XRP Athi and Michnik calculator puts XRP at $15 on $40 billion volume. Piece reads as follows. The XRP calculator, based on the Athi and Michnik XRP valuation model, puts XRP value at $15 in the next two years based on certain criteria, such as a $40 billion volume. Um, XRP currently trades for $0.62 cents as of press time, despite its potential to revolutionize the global payment sector. As a result of its underperformance, several industry commentators have argued that the token is largely undervalued. In 2018, Susan Athey, a Stanford professor at the time, and Robert Michnik, a Stanford MBA candidate at the time, introduced a research paper that sought to evaluate the fair market value of XRP as opposed to its actual market value. And when they say market value, I think that they're really more so referencing price as opposed to um, you know, fair market value, which I see people calculate it all sorts of different ways, but it's just this idea that try they're trying to express of, hey, here's what the market price is. So we think that the market isn't sufficient, sufficiently appreciating the true value of this thing. It's actually, it actually should be worth fair more. And when you say should be worth fair more, it's the same as fair market value is. Should be worth more in price is the same as fair market value is. And it's based on um, a, a particular... Uh, it can be, well, there can be different models to put that type of thing together, and that is subjective, but that's the statement that would be made along those lines. That's the idea that I'm trying to share. Okay. Anyway, peace continues. The paper considered several market conditions, such as supply and demand and the technology behind the asset. 
It estimated XRP's fair market value to range from a low of $6.37 to a high of $32.91. The paper also estimated that Bitcoin's fair market value ranges from $45,438 to $93,621. And again, just as a reminder, like it, it said here, like, this is from 2018. Keep, keep that in mind. Shortly after Susan and Michnik released their evaluation model, a web-based calculator that uses this model surfaced. The Crypto Basic recently leveraged this calculator to estimate XRP value in the next two years, and the tool presented a price of $15. So, folks, typically when you see a YouTuber cover this topic, it's gonna be like, whoa, look at this. Know what you hold, everybody. All the money. They'll be saying BS like that. Oh, my God, wow. <laughs> they said this. Oh, wow. Whoa, guys. Uh, getting you all jazzed up and super hyped, but I, I've seen no one else point out that the damn thing doesn't work. And I was going to pull up for this video, but the website's currently down. This is definitely the right web address. I looked it up because I had it saved. Currently, the price calculator, at the moment I'm recording this anyway, it's down. And I say good reddance to the damn thing. I can show you what it looked like, though, because uh, the Crypto Basic does have a screen grab of it, so you can see the fields that you can enter. And so... Let me just point out a couple things uh, just to get the ball rolling on why this is a complete train wreck and garbage. Uh, here you can see that there are six different fields that you can enter. And again, it's a calculator, so depending on what you think would be a reasonable thing to suppose for those particular fields, you can put it any number you want, press calculate, and it'll spit out a number. And so basically the Crypto Basic put in figures that they found to be reasonable, and it spit out that value of a little over 15 bucks for them, Okay. Here's the thing, though. This calculator, which is touted as the Susan Athey calculator, that, or, or I've seen it called the Athney Michnik calculator, uh, it is not their calculator. They did not make this calculator. What they made is what's on your screen right here. This framework, a fundamental valuation framework for crypto assets. It's a 24-page document. It's the one that I was re referencing a few minutes ago. Published in June 2018 by Robert Michnik and Susan Athey. Susan Athey was uh, ultimately, she isn't anymore, but she was on the, the board of Ripple for a while. And so they published this thing, and it was about it's a crypto valuation model, and they talk about Bitcoin and XRP, right? They made this paper. They did not make the calculator. And if they did, it wouldn't be as effed up as the actual calculator is. Let me make a, a point just to kind of this is the best thing I can best thing I can do to bring the point home. If you go down to page 22 of this bad boy, we'll skip past all the mathy parts here. Um, yeah, I, just look right here. I think this is the only portion that I need to highlight right here. This is the conclusion section. They write. This paper has produced a novel comprehensive fundamental valuation framework for the emerging crypto asset class. Our model requires estimating a total of eight parameters and arriving at an assessment of long-term fundamental value, which can be applied across a broad universe of crypto assets. You caught that right, folks. Eight parameters. Well, bitch, where are the other two then? Look at this. The, the, <laughs> the calculator which, again, they did not create. And it, the website, it even says, I remember because I've been on it before, it said that it was based on uh, the, the Susan Athey and, and Robert Michnik's work. It was based on that. It doesn't mean the calculator's good or that somebody that even knows how to math put it together. Together, So they, they put in six parameters, not eight. That should already tell you right there, this whole thing's going to be messed up no matter what you plug into it because it's it's not their model. It's whoever's made this. And then they just use the name, say, hey, it's, it's based on, it's loosely based on that. It's kind of like when there's a, a, a story that is like based on real life events, but they make completely, just for dr dramatic purposes in movies, they'll make up completely dramatized scenes that didn't actually occur in life. It's a similar concept. So it's based on something that is a real thing. So there's a real paper that Susan Athey and Robert Michnik published, but this calculator sure is not a reasonable representation of the work they did, not even close to it. And so this thing's so damn old, and it's funny because the, the, the figures, if you just, it has default figures actually when you go to it. And, and again, this is from five years ago. Uh, well, actually six years ago now, um, right? Or, or just about. Yeah, okay, so coming up on six years ago. When you, uh, when you, when you just hit calculate on the damn thing, the default settings spit out an XRP value of $1,632.35. And so I, back then I remember being like, guys, this is stupid. It doesn't work. Here are the reasons why. And then I was just told the you don't know what you hold. All the money. <laughs> like, I am so pro XRP, but I just want us to live in reality. That's it. And I don't see enough that... Why, why isn't every content creator talking about how stupid this thing is? 
Because what's happening is there are trusted content creators. They they prop this thing up without critiquing it. And then all these people that trust it, because there's actual trust built up, then they go away believing that this makes sense. And then they have an unreasonable expectation of what should be happening with XRP. That's why I'm pushing It's bad ideas. It's bad stuff. And it's a bad calculator. It just doesn't make any damn sense. And so then you look at the news BTC article here. Crypto analyst predicts XRP will explode 58,000% to $352. A crypto analyst has put together a bold prediction as to the future trajectory of the XRP price. That's so bold. Stunning and brave. Based on his prediction, the XRP community could see the crypto token's price enter three digits soon enough. In a video posted on YouTube, the crypto analyst behind the JWK Show channel concluded that XRP's price could potentially rise to as high as $352. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. He made this conclusion after using an XRP calculator. This calculator was invented based on a valuation model developed by Susan Athey, who happens to be on Ripple's board, and Robert Michnik, a former employee uh, at the crypto forum. Yeah, so as far as I can tell, she's not on Ripple's board. I actually looked up Ripple's website and scrolled down on their website. Here you can see are the board members, Susan Athey, uh, not listed. So, and I, I didn't think she was on the board anymore. So as far as I can tell, she is not on the board. And so it's just like, it's if, if I were Susan Athey and Robert Michnik, I would be offended to hear that this particular calculator was based on my work. It just doesn't make any sense. But people are making a lot of assumptions that there's something actually to this, which is why I push back against this nonsense. We don't need the unreasonable nonsense and the stupid ass hype to be to be sufficiently excited about XRP. There's enough real world awesomeness surrounding XRP and the XRP ecosystem and the ledger, the entire community, everything that's happening. There's, there's more than enough to be reasonably excited about the future. It's reasonable to think that it's possible we can achieve life-changing wealth holding XRP. That's not crazy. It happens in crypto all the time. It's not remotely crazy. But some of this stuff is stupid as hell. And by the way, as far as this $352 prediction, um, I wasn't familiar with the JWK show, but they actually shared a clip from another YouTube channel um, that, that was pushing this. I actually watched the video. It was like a five-minute video because I was just curious. I was like, where's this coming from? Um, I, I just, I don't know why people are not willing to be thinking more critically unless it's purely for the clicks. But that's why I always go back to, you don't need to, because even if you're just grounded in reality, the real headlines describing what's going on and the real reasonable figures of XRP price expectations, that's sufficiently exciting already. You don't need $352. You don't need $1,000. You know, I mean, you know, if that's what your article is going to be about or your YouTube video, I have no problem with that. But the problem is people are propping these things up as though they're actually reasonably attainable. And, and in particular, in the short term, that's the problem. And I just, I, I just, I get the suspicion that too many people are out there doing it purely for that. For that reason. I know the crypto alert is. Look at this. This is a trash website. This is arguably the worst crypto media outlet that there is on the planet. And I'm being kind in calling them crypto media outlet. It's just, it's, they, they write fiction. So here, here's the headline though. This is a new one. XRP is set to handle transactions surpassing $1.2 quadrillion, making a price of $10,000 necessary. I don't even want to read the article. It's, it's, it's trash. Making it necessary. Well, if it needs to be, then it just will be, right? This is the type of crap that they they, uh, they want to pass on as sophistication or reasonable. But this website is garbage. In fact, this is the first time I came across them, I think. Uh, this is an article from June 30th from the Crypto Alert. SEC sources confirm Gary Gensler resignation. Folks, I, I covered this at the time. Some of you might even remember the story. This is not true. This website writes fiction. They literally make stuff up. It, it hits their, it comes up in their little stupid little brains. They think it up. They know it's not true. And then they write fiction, made up stories on the website and then pass it off as though they're a real news, news site. That is what they do. And it get, you know, and it tricks people though, because they do have some stories with actual news. And so they're tricking people. And I've seen a lot of people lately on social media platform X sharing articles from the crypto alert. And so politely what I've been doing is letting them know that this is a fake news site. They write fiction, not news. They write fiction. And I let people know that. And not once have I gotten a, Oh, thank you. I didn't know that. Not once. And so what I keep seeing is 
I, I let people know that because I want to give people the benefit of the doubt. If they're sharing something that's from an actual fiction writing site, I want them to be aware of that uh, because I give them the benefit of the doubt. Maybe they don't know better. But then when I see that they keep sharing stuff from the site, that tells me, oh, they probably just don't give a damn. They don't get, and so some of these accounts, they have massive followings. They'll be warned, hey, just so you know, this site, they, they claim they're sharing news. They write fiction. So I warn them and then they don't care. So what does that tell me? That tells me that they are purely doing it for the clicks. They don't care if they mislead people and then I no longer trust them. I no longer trust these people. I give them the benefit of the doubt. Hey, just so you know, fake news. Just consider that. Maybe you don't want to share a fake news website. And then I'm talking accounts with like tens of thousands of followers on X. Like well-known and respected accounts. They're, they're sharing this crap. I, I just... We need less of this in the community. That's my opinion. I, I, I love civil discourse and all that stuff, but there is such a thing as going too far. And if you're going to share a fake news website, that's too far. If you're going to look at, uh, you know, a price calculator and share outrageous price expectations in the hundreds of th or, or thousands of dollars for XRP without engaging first in critical thinking, you're going too far. That's not reasonable. I subjectively do not believe this is my personal opinion. I do not believe that's reasonable. Slow down, chief. <laughs> I get it. You want the likes. You want the clicks. We all do. I get it. Of course, why wouldn't we? But can you do it with some critical thinking and some reasonable thought process leading up to whatever the hell your opinion is? Can you justify it? Can you be intellectually honest and just admit if you're going to cover a topic, hey, uh, this, this thing, it might be crap, like kind of like what I'm doing right now. Because I'm telling you, I know for sure I would have way more followers on X and I would have way more subscribers on YouTube if I did what some other people do and just... Do the true hype train thing. The big figures and all the money. And I could get into the conspiracy theories and all the magic and all the people the, uh, the pulling the strings and secretly in the shadowy figures that actually know stuff. And I can make you feel really special. But I'm not going to do that. Because I hate that crap. All right, I guess that's my rant. <laughs> Sorry, this stuff just bothers me. Man. Like, it's, just, it's cathartic to just kind of let out this complaint fest here. So I hope that... Actually, I know most of you, I think... It, you are on the same, like you, I think broadly speaking, the vast majority of people listening right now probably feel the same. You also hate this stuff. But I just, I cannot relate with the people who are willing to forego credibility for what they perceive as some sort of short-term gain of getting more clicks and more shares on X or more views on YouTube or whatever it is. I can't relate to that. It's just, it's just, it's, everything is so, you can get plenty of clicks by being intellectually honest. I swear in my life you can. You can make your headlines sound exciting. Of course, if you respect your work, of course you want to have the most exciting sounding headline possible. Whether it's YouTube or you're writing an article. Now it needs to be about what you're covering. You don't want to mislead people, but it should be the most exciting, accurate description of what you're covering. Of course, do that. But don't do what the crypto alert is doing here. $10,000 XRP. I mean, if you're talking about the like the concept of ten thousand dollar XRP, uh, and then you're ripping it to shreds, I mean, I do that. Go ahead, but the problem is, it's the big figures. And look here, I'm not even going to tell you it doesn't make sense. I'm going to let you believe it. And it's just, it just, it's shady, man. Like I just, I despise it. All right, I'll shut up. I'll for real shut up now. But man, this stuff really bugs me. <laughs> so there we go. Just be aware of this. Watch out for people pushing this crap, pushing the stupid ass, broken ass XRP price calculator and uh, and the crypto alert. If somebody's sharing the crypto alert, you, you can be friendly and warn them. But if you see them do it more than once, just assume they don't care about spreading honest information. They just want the clicks. And the reason they'll do it, too, I, I suppose anyway, is because that type of outlet, like the crypto alert, they're more likely to frequently post headlines like this that are more attention grabbing. That's why they're doing it. But it's not filled with anything that has thoughtful discussion or discourse or, you know, honest facts. Nothing like that. That's not what this stuff is. They're just, they're taking advantage of the community. That's what they're doing. I'm not a financial advisor. You should not buy or sell anything because of anything I say or write. That would be a very, very, very bad idea. Until next time, to the moon, Lambeau.